Hi guys, how are you all? As you guys know, the evolution of smartphones is at its peak nowadays. There's always something new waiting in the wings. And smartphone manufacturers like Samsung, Apple, LG are doing their best to dominate the market. So here I have 7 upcoming smartphones rounded up for you guys that you must see. First, let me tell you that I am going to talk briefly about all these smartphones. On number 1 we have Sony Xperia XZ3. Like the XZ2 and XZ2 Premium, this device would also attain a loop design with IP68 water and dust resistance. The XZ3 is expected to have a 5.7 inch 18 by 9 aspect ratio 2160 by 1080p LCD display and 423 PPI density. A Snapdragon 845 processor. It will have two variants, one with 6 GB of RAM and 64 GB of internal and second with 6 GB of RAM and 128 GB of internal plus both with micro SD card slot and both will have a 3240 mAh battery. Number 2 we have iPhone X Plus, iPhone 9, iPhone X2 or iPhone 11. Actually the name of this iPhone is not yet known but those were some expected names of the device. This iPhone is expected to have a 6.5 inch a 19 by 9 aspect ratio display with around 480 to 500 ppi pixel per inch density and OLED technology and this iPhone will be cheaper because of its aluminum back instead of the stainless steel one. On number 3 we have the Google Pixel 3 and Pixel 3 XL. The biggest leak regarding Pixel 3 and Pixel 3 XL so far is about the display. With both devices moving to 18 by 9 ratio, but it looks like Pixel 3 XL will embrace a notch design, meaning less bezels and a more compact phone. Reliable sources suggest that it will launch in October with Android P on the go. Number 4 we have the LG V40 Thin Cube. The LG G7 has been announced and is coming soon in the market but there's been some talk about LG V40 already. But the only problem is that there's been no talk about what this device will offer. So we don't have any think about it right now. Oh no! <laughs> Whenever I'm gonna get the knowledge, I'm gonna share it with you through my channel. So subscribe and hit that bell icon so that you can get notified. Okay? On number 5, we have the S10 and S10 Plus. Samsung's 2018 changes haven't been huge, but there's something big plan for 2019, the S10 and S10 Plus. There's been a lot of talk about in-screen fingerprint scanners and some leaks suggest that Samsung might go for 5 cameras for this phone, 3 for the back and 2 for the front. And some leaks also suggest that it will be one of the new generation of 5G capable headsets with super sharp 600 pixel per inch density and will come in three different sizes according to Ming Chi Ku, a respected analyst. On number 6 we have the Apple's iPhone SE 2. The iPhone SE is the oldest phone that is still in circulation and recently there's been some talks about updated design for the SE 2. 
it will have a notch design with the same old 4 inch display and with a bump up in PPI density and probably a 3D touch too. And with a 12 megapixel f1.8 aperture camera, the hardware specs will match the iPhone 7 and probably the iPhone 8. And last but not the least, we have the Note 9. As I've told in my earlier videos about the Note 9 leaks, the successor of the Note 8 is going to launch in August 9. It will have a 4000 mAh battery and is going to have three variants. One with 6 GB RAM and 128 GB ROM. This other with 8 GB RAM and 256 GB internal. And the third one, the 8 GB RAM and 512 GB variant. Note 9's design will match the Note 8's design but with very little changes like displacement in fingerprint scanner. But as I have told you in my earlier video, this year's packed with some extreme aspen changes. So guys, these are the upcoming smartphones that you must see. Okay guys, so that's all for today. Please make sure to subscribe and hit that bell icon so that you can get notified about my future videos because some interesting videos are coming soon. Peace out.